Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to save your art onto a gold bond template for a golf ball. This will apply to all golf balls we sell here at Gold Bond. First, go to our website, goldbondinc.com. Next, search for the item you're looking for. Once you've done that, you'll notice the item image. And right below that item image is a link to download template. Right click on that link. Save target as. And I'm just going to save to my desktop. I've already got a file there, so I'll go ahead and replace that. Next, I'll go to Illustrator, File, Open. I'll scroll down until I see it. There it is. Once I've opened the template, I'm going to open the art that I use. I'm just going to use our Gold Bond logo. Select All, Copy, and I'll paste onto our template. Notice it's a little large, so I'm going to reduce to one inch, which is the maximum I can do. You notice I've got two different imprint areas here. I've got a rectangular imprint area that is one inch by three eighths, and then I also have a circular imprint area that is seven eighths of an inch in diameter. The rectangular imprint area would be best for me to use for my logo. So that's what I'm going to use. Now the minimum point size we can print on golf balls for text is six points. And to ensure that all this text is at least six points, I need to go ahead and make an E scale. Now to do that, select the text tool. Then select a standard block font. Arial is probably the best to use make it six points and just begin to make your own e-scale once you've done that just kinda drag it over all your text I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you just kinda drag it over all your text you'll notice ink is a little bit small but it's the same size as a lowercase e I cannot be any less than this or it will not print legible this logo will work. Also we need to make sure that the text is converted to outlines. You'll notice the difference here in the look of this. It's got all these points and this just has a solid blue line. This is not converted to outlines. This is. You need to make sure our text is converted to outlines because Gold Bond might not have the font that you use in your logo. If your logo is completely converted to outlines including your text, we avoid this problem altogether. Now my logo is good to use. All the text is at least a minimum point size. All the text is also converted to outlines. So my logo is going to work. Once I've made sure that my logo is going to work, I need to put my purchase order number on the template. I'm just going to use Gold Bond logo. Once I've done that, I'm just going to save as. I'm going to save it as Gold Bond logo, save it as a purchase order number. Just save it to my desktop. Make sure it's high quality print and save PDF. This concludes this video.